Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most prevalent energy types on the planet and explain a little bit about their digestion and maybe how they should eat. Just maybe, because still, even though there are a lot of these people on the planet, they are all unique. Hi, my name is Frances Young. I am a personal trainer and human design expert here from the Fearless Project to describe to you today what a generator is and how they may need to eat. A generator is one of, as I said, the most prevalent energy types on the planet, and they are here to be that many to give the world juicy, sparkly life force, which is energy. I am a generator. In this moment, I feel excited and energized speaking to the world about myself. I know that is correct because I am excited. Sometimes when generators are excited, they just don't know what to say. They're just full of life. They are satisfied. They know that this is what they're meant to do. And every generator, if you're a generator out here watching, you kind of get that little bubbliness inside from our sacral center. It is our gut and our intuition. It may not be your decision decider for you. That's authority. That's another video to come. However, the generator is governed by their gut. I am going to do a little bit of show and tell to help describe what's going on. So we have here my chart. Yes, the world gets to see what my exact birth time is. That is okay. Here we are, a generator. Sacral center is this red box down here at the bottom. This is your life force generators. This is where you get that energy from and that you can go, 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 do, do, do all day. And if you keep doing things that you like in a day, the battery will eventually wear out. The Energizer Bunny does have to recharge. However, that is why you can keep going. You have this life force within you. It is always constant as a colored box on a human design body graph is a defined center this being your sacral and defined, it is a constant energy for you. It is something you can rely on if need be. Now, we're speaking about digestion. We start with these beautiful arrows that are at the top around the crown chakra and the ajna. This top arrow represents digestion in human design when you look at a graph. If something is pointing to the right, with one of the arrows. If this is backwards for those of you watching online, I apologize, but I am currently pointing to the right. The right is passivity. If something points to the left, it means active. So in my case, I am a generator that needs to be excited and, oh my God, I can't wait to eat this thing that's in front of me on my own schedule. My body does not burn as many calories just naturally as somebody with an active digestion. I do not need as much routine as to exactly when I am eating every single day. If I go to bed and wake up starving, that morning I need a bigger breakfast. If I'm still a little bit like, meh, after I've been awake for an hour and a bit, that's okay. I'm going to try and follow my hunger cues. A generator wants to see their food in front of them before they start eating. They need to get excited. Their sacral center is a yes, no mechanism. It does not understand maybe. If you ask a generator an open-ended question, especially what do you want to eat? You're going to get a really like blank stare and like, I don't know. I don't know. But if you ask a generator, would you like a salad or steak? You are probably going to get a much more defined answer, even if it is a distinct maybe. Just keep shooting more questions that require a very distinct, yes, I want salad, or no, I don't want steak today. You'll have some very happy generators out there. Passivity also means how you take in information with regards to digestion as well, generators. 
you're not supposed to constantly have things in front of you, but you're taking in information all of the time, whether you realize it or not. I am definitely one of those people that remembers where someone's passport was because I saw it two weeks ago in the drawer underneath this thing. And it's not even mine. It's really cool. So a little bit about digestion, arrows, and I hope that helps you generators of the world, you sparkly, shiny unicorns, you.